Hey, happy day. My name is Diana. Welcome to Daily Devo. Today, we are talking about this idea of make every effort. Hey, we often don't like things that we can easily master or things we've outgrown. Think about it. Most of us as adults don't really enjoy watching preschool shows every day for hours on end. Um, we've outgrown their level of entertainment. They just don't capture our attention anymore. It's actually a quite natural thing, right? Um, but here's the great news is a life of faith isn't like that. We never get to a point of perfect mastery. We never get to a point where we've outgrown the beauty and the brilliance and the challenge of our faith. Man, that's not how a life of faith works. Ephesians reminds us that there is more depth and width and length and breadth to the love of God. There is more that we get to discover and experience today that is all just a little bit deeper, a little bit wider, a little bit more. Um, and today's verse speaks to that. So in first, or Second Peter chapter 1, verse 5, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5, it says this. It says, in view of all this, everything we've been talking about the last few days, it says, make every effort to respond to the promises of God. To respond to the promises of God, make every S effort to participate. It's kind of like this. So if you buy a house plant, especially here in the desert, um, you've got to water that guy or it is going to start to wither and it won't last. The same is true of our faith. We've got to participate in watering the soil of our faith and pulling up the weeds that have started to crowd in the message of faith. That's what today's verse is talking about. So a life of faith involves our participation. What does that mean? Uh, you could be ask, asking. Well, remember, we're absolutely saved by faith alone through grace alone. Romans 3 tells us that. But after we've received our faith, we get to participate by cultivating the soil of our faith. So today, here's the challenge. How can you participate in watering the soil of your faith? What would it look like for you to go back and read 2 Peter with us today? Or maybe you need to actually sign up for a group at your church. Or maybe it looks like calling somebody and finally asking your question about faith to somebody who's a little bit further along than you. What does participating in your faith look like to make every effort to cultivate the soil, to pull up the weeds and to water it? Tune in tomorrow and you are going to discover what does Peter tell us to add to our faith? What are some of the ways that we can take care of our faith or participate in it? You don't want to miss it.